Hi, I'm Sherry, and today I want to talk a little bit about rosemary and how you can propagate it. So do you want a fuller, bushier rosemary plant? Of course you do. We all do. Because the bigger it is, the more you can harvest. And so I'm going to show you two ways of propagating your rosemary so that you have a bushier plant and more rosemary in general. Like most plants, when you are pruning them or taking cuttings, you don't want to prune more than a third at one time. Pruning more than a third at one time is probably going to stress the plant out and that's the last thing you want, especially when it's so hot out and they're probably already stressed. You also want to prune rosemary from the top and not the bottom. When you're pruning your rosemary plant, you want to prune it right at the fork in the road there. So you want to go right above that fork. That way, these pieces here are going to start branching out and grow a bushier plant for you. Once you have your cutting, you're then going to remove all of this rosemary along the bottom. But remember that that rosemary can be used in the kitchen, so don't throw it on the, on the ground. So you're simply going to start where you want it and you're just going to pull. And there it is there. And so I'm just gonna keep all of that. So now that I have my cutting and I've removed the bottom portion of it, the next step is simply sticking it into wet soil and walking away. And it will root all on its own. Lost again, going back around. I really wish you could smell this amazing rosemary smell. Because I've been pulling all of this rosemary off of my cuttings, it is so strong smelling here and I just love it. So what I've done is pulled off a bunch, or I've cut off a bunch, I've pulled off all of the rosemary. The next way that you can propagate these is by placing them into a jar of water. Now, this is going to be the slower way and you are going to have to make sure that you keep your water level where it needs to be. You can't let it dry out. And I would say that if you were looking to do one of the two methods, I would do the first one. I'm going to do the second one as well because I have my mom or I've asked my mom to go to some of the thrift stores and to find me some smaller ceramic pots. And my idea is to root these in the water and then replant them into those pots and put them all along my windowsill. So when people come to visit me, I can give them a small little rosemary plant to take home, which will have only cost me a dollar or two from the thrift store and a little bit of my time. So you're simply going to add them into the water and it will probably take four to six weeks for these to really root. Um, but by then I'll have all the pots that I want and these will have tons of roots to plant. I hope that you've enjoyed this quick gardening tip video and you are going to propagate your rosemary. Thank you for spending your time with me.